Hi guys, it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous, and I do mean over the top beautiful postcard perfect day here in the end times and paradise. Uh, it is a Saturday, a glorious Saturday afternoon, October 29th, 2022. It's uh, starting to look a little bit like old man winter here. It is now 57 degrees on October 29th and I guess we're going to have a light frost tonight and then as far as they can see into the future uh, here in the Finger Lakes of New York heading into November. Uh, no frost in sight, loads that uh, like the after the night it's like the coldest night is supposed to be like 45 degrees and they're talking uh, low to mid 60s all week the first week in uh, November so anyway so today you know normally would have been the day that horrible day that I would have started packing my truck and camper to drag out of here on Monday morning heading out being a snowbird could you imagine I mean the, the very thought of uh, packing up this truck and that goddamn camper to head out into the wild black yonder uh, is actually a, a lot more depressing than at, at this point than uh, hanging out here this winter. So anyway, we will see where the universe takes me on this one and uh, see if it turns out, as my friend always likes to say, it will turn out better than you ever could have imagined. That is, uh, <laughs> you know, my Trump tard friend in, in Austin. Uh, that's her favorite saying when uh, you're trying to figure out why the universe has put you between a, the newest rock and a hard place. And uh, when it doesn't matter what decision you make, you're going to be fucked. You're going to be fucked if you do this. You're going to be fucked as if you do that. So it doesn't make any fucking difference what the fuck you do. You know? Uh, you can analyze anything into a no. So uh, it's not that hard to analyze shit into a no and uh, to look at any situation and figure out how you could uh, be fucked. Uh, with this... Uh, hand of cards you were dealt by the fucking universe. So anyway, along those lines, I, uh, <laughs> this whole nightmare that I went through with fucking Lowe's and PayPal and all of this shit and, uh, all, all that fucking time I spent up there with that little porno queen and that customer service and fucking talking to Lowe's headquarters and PayPal customer service and fucking uh, on this goddamn panic attack and, and everything else thinking why the fuck uh, did I ever do this? Well it appears to me and now and I guess things could change but if I'm reading this and uh, Sandy do you agree or do you not? It appears to me that uh, I got charged $227 for $315 worth of stuff. That my final bill <clears throat> that uh, PayPal sent Lowe's, uh, PayPal paid, paid Lowe's uh, $227. I've got the fucking receipt for $315 in my, uh, you know, the paper receipt with everything on that goddamn order checked off. Uh, <laughs> so there you go. After all of that, I ended up saving $87.40. Now, of course, they could probably still end up catching it 
this little dog uh, don't need the dog hanging out the window now that we're back on the main road so anyway we will see if uh, <laughs> we will see if uh, better than you ever could have imagined is gonna hold true for sticking it out here in the next six months but uh, looking at this day good lord once again it's the most glorious place to be on the planet the, uh, up here in the northeast I noticed there is a big article uh, in the mainstream media on Yahoo News today uh, which I think that little eco pussy Sam Mitchell might be talking about over there at Collapse Chronicles today <clears throat> You know, with all of this research crunching uh, where to live, if if you are, are start, you know, are thinking about where to move to, to uh, escape climate change, it is the northeast. Uh, it is the U.S. northeast is as good a place as any place on the planet. Uh, to live. So at the end of the article, of course, I, I, I left the uh, comment that, well, uh, as a climate refugee from Texas uh, moving to New York, uh, <laughs> let's see how I feel come January uh, about the U.S. Northeast being the best place to live to escape an uncomfortable climate. I noticed some guy responded back who's a native of the Finger Lakes and uh, <laughs> he said that I'll be okay until late January is what he says that uh, I will be able to stand it. He, he's lived here all his life. He said, dude, uh, if you've never done a winter uh, and the Finger Lakes of New York. Uh, he said it'll really start uh, settling in the depression in uh, late January and by March. You know, I will be pretty much full blown psychotic and suicidal. So uh, we will see. But of course, uh, there's still the option of. Still the option of getting the hell out of here in late January and heading off for four to eight weeks in a tropical vacation. So anyone that holds any interest to you, uh, taking a tropical vacation talk to me and uh, let's figure it out. I am all ears and I am game. But right now, I would rather be in the Finger Lakes of New York than lying on a beach in Costa Rica on this absolutely gorgeous day. I highly suggest you get out there and enjoy your spectacularly gorgeous day. Well, you still can. Bye, guys.